Welcome to my lecture online. What is a steradian? Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Okay, all right. Welcome to my lecture online. What is a steradian? And why are we putting it in the section on triple integrals? That's because in spherical coordinates, we quite often deal with cone-shaped sections of a sphere. And so, therefore, it's nice to know about the angle that subtends the surface area on that sphere. For example, if we have a particular, what we call solid angle, we can then subtend an area on the surface, and so the relationship between the area and that angle then becomes the concept of a steradian. So we can say that the steradian is the solid angle, and by solid angle we mean two-dimensional angle, that subtends an area equal to r squared on the surface of a sphere. So we have a sphere with radius r. If the area is r squared, the angle that subtends that, and that would be a two-dimensional angle, is equal to one steradian. This comes from the concept when we multiply 4 pi times the ratio of 180 degrees divided by pi. Now, 180 degrees divided by pi is the number of degrees in a radian, which is about 57.3 degrees. So when we multiply 4 pi times 57.3, we get the number of degrees squared in an entire sphere. That's the same as taking the angle of 360 degrees and squaring it divided by pi, which is equal to 129,600 divided by pi, which is equal to 41,253 essentially square degrees. So the angle that subtends an entire sphere is about 41,253 degrees. Since the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, that's the surface area of a sphere, the fraction of the area covered by one steradian, we simply take r squared, which is the surface area covered by one steradian, divided by 4 pi r squared, which is the surface area of an entire sphere, that fraction is 1 over 4 pi which therefore means that 4 pi steradians cover the whole sphere, which means that 1 steradian is this many degrees, the degrees that cover the whole sphere divided by 4 pi, or 3,283 square degrees. That's the size of a steradian. You take this number times 4 pi, and you have the entire surface of the sphere, in other words, the angle required to have an entire sphere. So that's what we mean by a steradian, and yes, it does come in very handy when we start talking about spheres and cones and areas subtended by that particular cone. And it's also very practical when we talk about astronomy and astrophysics. So there you are. That's what we mean by a steradian.